Aloha Avakea, my name is Diana Aki. That's my married name, Aki. I was born in Hilo here on 110 Pona Hawaii Street, raised until I was uh, 10 or 11. My father took ill, and so we moved home to Miloni. I was very young when I would hear music, and it was always Hawaiian music, oftentimes. My father, mother, always played Hawaiian music at home on a phonograph. And uh, so I grew up hearing Hawaiian music. In fact, one thing that stands out in my mind is when I was eight years old, there's an armory hall back here. It's an old armory hall. And uh, Auntie Gino Keave and Lena Machado was coming for a concert to Hilo. And so my father put us on the uh, on his little Hudson, drove us over here to the Army Hall, and we got to enjoy live Hawaiian music. And uh, I mean, it, it was, it really started my life in enjoying Hawaiian music. And the general was just beautiful. And I was so enamored by Antelina Machado's voice that it took to me. So since then, I've, I've always enjoyed hearing music and the LPs playing on a record, you know. When I moved home to Mililii, I didn't have people at my age that I could hang out with. So I always was attracted to these two aunts of mine because they embraced the music. The music was where I was, you know. And so I would often go over and spend time with them at their house. And when they're playing, they're creating, they're talking about old stories and about families. And, and then uh, they would sing songs that had been handed down to them. And so I was always around them, but um, never had uh, their blessing, you know, until one day, I was asked by a dear friend of mine, Boone Morrison, Oh, Tita. Can you come over to the Volcano Art Center and do a program for us from of Mililii? And so I took a few children from Mililii and we went for an evening concert and took two of my aunts with me and we went over to Volcano and we performed and we sang all the old songs that have been handed down and received permission from my two aunts who came with me. And uh, the next day, Boo Morrison comes to Mililii and brings a special friend of his. And it was Eddie Kamai. Brought Eddie Kamai, a renowned musician. He came and he says, he asked, came to have breakfast with us and he said that he was interested in recording the songs that he heard. And I told him, it's not my song. They don't belong to me. I was just, I was just, it was just an honor to be able to sing the song, but it's really not mine. I need to take you to the people who really are the keepers of these songs. So I took him to visit my two aunts, my kupuna. He asked them, they looked at me and they looked at him and I was just fooling around over there. Never thought that I was gonna be asked to do anything. And she said, Auntie Rosaline Kelp just came on and said, if she sing a song, you can have the song. And I was wondering, who she's talking about? And she looked at me, you sing the song, he go and record the song. I, I, to me, it was the greatest honor I've ever heard. You know, I mean, having to be like a, a servant, master servant kind of thing, you know. And this is how I was brought up, brought to serve, you know, brought up to serve. And, and now all of a sudden, I. I'm asked to sing the song. If I sing the song, then he's going to record it, you know? So I was just so thrilled. It was the most precious moment of my life to be, to be assigned by my kupuna to take care of this song that I was going to sing, you know? <laughs> so that started my life in the professional world. This is my ukulele and um, it's my polikapu. Polikapu um, is, um, it's something that I cherish in my bosom because I hold it next to me in my heart. And so um, I call it my polikapu. This polikapu was made by a um, special gentleman that comes from Kohala. 
I hope he's still there. This ukulele is about 25 years old. I still have it. It's still the best I've had out of all the ukuleles I purchased. Um, they say it's been about four. But this is the one that stands out with me. I just enjoy it. So this is my poly kapu. Poly is a bosom. Kapu is um, something that is um, um, only me, only mine. This is one song that I have on my CD, this latest CD. It's called Leo Nahe Nahe. And I have this dear, dear, dear person, a long time, long time friends of my parents. Uh, my father and mother sort of hanaid her husband. And so I've, I've often called her Tita, which is like a sister. She shared a lot of songs with me, but this one stands out the most. It's called Leo Nahe Nahe. Uh, Leo is the voice, Nahe Nahe is sweet. And so this song talks about uh, Eleanor Makita being down at the beach one day and looked up at the sky and she saw the clouds forming, coming toward her, and it reminded her of her tutu, her grandma. And it's as if her grandma's speaking to her with soft eyes, you know, and, uh, and she could sort of hear her sweet voice. And then later, as the song goes, as the verses are sung, she reminisces about her other, the other part of her life. So it's called Leo Nahe Nahe. Let's see. Mahalo Nui, no ko Leo Nahe Nahe, ika poni mai ka hi sweet one, aloha. Aloha, ya oh, 